All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation eight to the power of x is equal to 32. So to solve this, I'm gonna start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of eight to the power of x is equal to log 32. And now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So this is turned into b times log a. So log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. So now in the case of log a to the power of x, we can think of x as b, so we can move x to the front of the logarithm. So I get x times log of 8 is equal to log of 32. Now, from here, I'm going to divide both sides by log 8 because we want to isolate x because that's what we're trying to find the value of. So now these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log of 32 over log of 8. Now, log of 32 is the same thing as log of 8 times 4. So I get log of 8 times 4 over log of 32. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, this is going to equal log of 8 plus log of 4. And I have this over log of 32. Sorry, I have this over log of 8. Now, this turns into log 8 over log 8 plus log 4 over log 8. So now these two cancel out to get 1. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log of... 4 over log of 8. Now, log of 4 is the same thing as log of 2 squared. And log of 8 is the same thing as log of 2 to the power of 3. So now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, again, I can move b to the front, so it's going to be b times log a. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with both of these. So I get x is equal to 1 plus, I can move the 2 to the front. So <clears throat> 2 times log 2 over the same thing with 3, so 3 times log 2. So now these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 over 3, which is equal to 1 is the same thing as 3 over 3, so 3 over 3 plus 2 over 3, which is 5 over 3. So x is 5 over 3. Now, how do we know that this is the right answer? So, going back, we have a to the power of x equals 32. And we're plugging in 5 over 3. So we get 8 to the power of 5 over 3 is equal to 32. Now, if you already know, 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 5 over 3 is equal to 33 is the same thing. 32 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So these two 3s cancel out. 
and I get 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 2 to the power of 5, or this is the same thing as 32 is equal to 32. This is right. Now, I also have a second method of solving this problem. So for the second method, we have the same equation, a to the power of x is equal to 32, and this is a simpler method. So for this method, I'm actually just going to start by rewriting these two numbers. So 8, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. And 32, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 5. So I'm rewriting both of these as the same bases, which now it makes them much easier to solve. 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 5. And because these two have the same bases, a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, meaning m is equal to n. So 3x is equal to 5, and x is equal to 5 over 3. So that's another method of solving this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem two to the power of 30 minus one. So to solve this, I'm gonna rewrite this as two to the power of 15 times two minus one. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So two to the power of 15 times two is the same thing as two to the power of 15 to the power of two. And negative one is the same thing as negative one squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is two to the power of 15 and b is one. So now I have two to the power of 15 plus one times two to the power of 15 minus one. Now, 2 to the power of 15, well, what's the value of that? Well, 2 to the power of 10, this is 1,024. So 2 to the power of 11 is double of 2 to the power of 10, which is double of 1,024, which is 2,048. So now 2 to the power of 12 is double of 2,048, which is 4,096. 2 to the power of 13 is double of 4,096, which is 8,192. 2 to the power of 14 is double of that, which is 16,384. And finally, 2 to the power of 15. This is double of this, which is 32,768. So I have 32,768 plus 1 times 32,768 minus 1. And now this is equal to 32,769 times 32,767. Now, a simple way to solve this, instead of having to actually multiply them the regular way, is to rewrite this as 32,000 plus 769 times 32,000 plus 767. Now I'm going to distribute. So I get 32,000 times 32,000, which is equal to 1024000000. This is 1 billion 24 million. And now I have this plus. 32,000 times 767 plus 769. And finally, I have at the end 767 times 769 which is equal to 589,823. So let me 
add all of this up, you can, you can actually do this on paper if you want, but just to make this easier, I'm gonna use a calculator to add all this up. So if I add all of this up, I get 1,073,741,823. So this is my solution.